of circular movements. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go away from that a little bit. What we're talking about now is where we haven't got the room. So especially with a lot of the videos we do, I'm trying to teach the I key way rather than the hard, you know. So you imagine now we're actually stuck in a corridor, more or less. So if you want to try a straight jab, quick jab, I haven't got this amount of room. There's a wall there or something, you know, you're against the bar. There may even be someone standing there, you know, you're here, there's the bar, there's someone standing there with their back to you. So you haven't got the room to start doing what we prefer to do. Yeah? You're stuck on the spot. Also, you're very close, because if you fire up the way, you can always get away. So funny comes first than me. Okay? So if you jabs, parry. Now the room you can move in is that. Yeah? I don't know what's behind me, but I know how much room I've got to. So as he punches, you come here, bang, straight in, yeah? Come in linear. So it's a slow motion. You're parrying, and when you're parrying, or you actually listen to strike more, you strike it, you turn him in anyway instantly, but you lift him up, exposing his ribs anyway. So as he's going up, then you can actually come in and always do like an uppercut into the flow of the rib. So as he comes in, it's here, across the body, there, then up, uppercut there, yeah? Simple from there, he's obviously starting to go towards the floor. You don't want him to the floor. As he goes towards the floor, in comes the knee, into the sternum. Hold him up with the knee. Don't put the foot down in the end of your chin. Hold him up, then come in with the empty and chase your own knee. Rather than actually going one, chase your knee. See? He's just in the way, you'll get a much more powerful blow. So, basically it's one, Two, three, four, there. And it's still more or less controlled within the space you're standing in, not necessarily interfering too much with everybody else. Yeah? And the only thing I will say, the first punch, he's probably hit the fellow there. But then that's his problem, walk away and make another time. Yeah? So, here we go. One, two. I've got four, but I can't get two. Yeah? This is one. Yeah? Job done. Okay? Now, the counter. But what if? The problem is with this, as he punches, you must meet it at elbow. Yeah? Now, this has uh, two effects. If you hit it hard enough, obviously it spins him, but also you see the look of his face. It jars the elbow. Whether it dislocates it or breaks it or not, at this point it's irrelevant. It does enough damage to make it dead end. Yeah? And that's what we're. Or after, it's not coming back again. If, but what if? If you do this, a good Kenpo man will step forward and he'll take you out. Now, right, let's do a technique from this. He's gone from his face, I'm not stupid. I've done that. I'm not going to be punching back. I'm leaning back. He now brings his hand over the top, drops, and he wrist locks me or breaks my wrist. Forget the hits, just for a moment. Yeah? So, Doing it wrong, forward, I said, no way, yeah, I'm not going to have that. He's already in the position, he drops down. And he's got the wrist off. Don't even look mean. For all of you that have not seen him on camera before, this is Colin McDonald, ace blue belt. Okay, so it's important to get the elbow. Now we're not going to get the elbow, and we're going to look at the fuzz idea of it. You've done that, pulls it back, this one comes flying through the middle. Yeah? Because you're not just getting one punch, you have one, two, they're coming in. Yeah? So you go there, and that comes in. Straight after. Yeah? So, you go one, two. Parry it on the other side. Slow motion. Roll. Comes in. Two. Lean to the side. Uppercut. Yeah? From there, transfer your leg forward. Break the arm. Come round. Down. You're not moving much. The feet are really going hard anywhere in this instance, yeah? There you go. Okay? Right, to sum up. First one. One. Two. Three. Second one. You do it wrong. 